Freedom Garden Seed Bank 2010. We're here at the Moe's Farm and we're picking peas. Wanted to show you this is some good stuff that's coming up in here. And then over here we've got garlic that's doing really well. We've got beets, radishes. As we move along here's some more peas. We're getting into some squashes. Again this is cultivated. This is done the right way. As we get over here, got some onions. You can see they were hand watered, hand raked, hand weeded. This is the way you're supposed to do it. And as you come over here, the potatoes are getting a little too big to cultivate. Eh, maybe not, but we'll see. And you can see they're doing really good. Potatoes are coming up really good. And then what this farm is famous for out here is what everybody loves. This right here is the real deal sweet corn. This is what corn is supposed to look like. You can walk up when this is ripe, pick one of these directly off of the plant and eat it. And I guarantee it will taste better than anything you've ever had for one. And you won't need butter, you won't have to sweeten it up, you won't have to put salt all over it, none of that. Back behind that we have a hay field and again you can see the corn is doing amazing. They say knee high by 4th of July. How about waist high? So as we move along here this is the first crop that should be coming in and then we have a second planting here, successive planting kind of guarantees that one way or another you're going to beat the frost at the beginning and at the end. There are I think six different varieties of corn. Seems that the 60 to 75 maybe even 85 day corn is what does the best out here. This is the enemy. Mustard grows all over the place. Not a whole lot you can do about it. But as you can see it's been cultivated that is you take a tractor with two little spikes that go along each side of the row and you just drive in a straight line. That cuts the roots of the weeds so that they don't choke the corn out that much. Again this was a successive crop. This will be coming in a little bit later in the year. Out here this should be pumpkins. You can see they're doing nice. Again the days are really long so these probably won't start shooting off blossoms for two weeks, maybe a month, as you can see those go on. Back there is another field of corn off in the distance. And then over here, it'll take me a second, we're just going to go across the grass here, bear with me. And I wanted to show you the cabbage. There's old antique farm equipment around here. And here we go. This was all tilled. You can start to see some of the babies coming up. Again, an entire field. Looks like it was planted about three weeks ago. Over here, everybody's favorite. Tomatoes. Look at that. Do you see any dots? Do you see any blight? No you don't. This is the way they're supposed to look. Looking really good. All coming in. How about cabbage? Broccoli. Look at that head of broccoli right there. Is that beautiful or what? Different style. Starting to spread out and go to seed a little bit. Again, beautiful heads. So as we move along can see some of the smaller tomatoes. These were all started indoors, taken care of very well. And then over here, and then over here, see some more squashes. Here's a nice blossom. Ooh, that one's starting right there. You can see it. That's a yellow squash. They're starting to form up. This is one of my favorite, favorite farms. And again, 
We're at the Moe's farm, mosing along. And if you want good produce, this is the place to go. So contact me. We've got peppers. You can see there's one forming up right there. Different kinds of peppers. Look at that. Little ladybug. Tomatoes. Absolutely fantastic. So if you want tomatoes this year, this is a good place to go. You can see behind that is a row of potatoes. And all in through here. Again, Uncle Moe's Farm. See you soon.